Hey, you. So today is a big errand day. It's actually one thing we gotta do. It just takes us a really long time to do it and we gotta do it weekly. We gotta go to Trader Joe's to get Lila's milk. And we always buy like a lot, like eight cartons maybe. Yeah, and she goes through it like within a week. Um, so we always have to go to Trader Joe's, which takes us 25 minutes to get there. It's bulk and season. Huh? It's bulk season. It's what? Bulk season. For bulk her. season. <laughs> it's bulk season for Lila. <laughs> um, so because of the time, we're used to like when we were back in Wheeling, everything was so close to us. So when we got to drive more than 20 minutes, we're like, man, it's like a road trip. <laughs> so we're going to do that. And then while we're at it, there's a trade, there's a Trader Joe's. What am I saying? There's a Target right by there. And we got to buy Lila some warm leggings and socks and things like that. Cause it's getting really cold. Today is like 47 or something. Yeah. That's really cold for us. I got slippers. I'm flexible enough to show you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna see if I can find some warm stuff for myself and this guy too. We Maybe the pup. We, we got her sweater and she looks so cute that we haven't showed them, but we got a cute sweater for the pup. Um, and she matches her new like little, we, we got her a little carpet that we move around everywhere for her. <laughs> yeah, thank Leslie for the sweater. Oh yeah, we gotta thank you, Leslie, because Lila will not wear any other sweater but that sweater, and it's nice because it's it's big and it keeps her nice and warm. She doesn't want to dirty it, which is a good thing, because she always gets dirty, and we change her like five times a day, so that's fantastic. Uh, it's it's really come in handy, but I do gotta wash it. I just gotta see how to get it off of her. <laughs> Anyways, I think we just got there. This is where I get her socks from because they have really good grips, like they're really good. And they're thick. This is boy socks, but I don't care, they're cute. <laughs> oh, you found it. You always manage to find something, right? This is what she picked. Just a tiny obsession. A tiny one. <laughs> Let's go, Mommy. I was just gonna try them on her. <laughs> she just takes everything off right away. But these are the boy ones. You see how the girl ones right now. You want the girl ones? Tight. Which one do you want? Which one? Hmm? Which one do you want? One. You get to choose one. Mom! Just hold it like that. Okay, good. Which one? Metal? Three? Yeah. Which one do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we went shopping and we kind of ended the vlog I had a couple people say you guys should have taken us along um, and show us what you got so we're gonna show you what you got last time we didn't find anything so it's okay we're actually pretty disappointed because we're like every time we go with the intention to buy we never find what we want this time I was trying to say like it's all right if we don't find anything and we found a whole bunch of stuff um, so let's start with Target let's see, what do we have here we're gonna start with daddy's one and only thing he bought <laughs> He's got a bunch of these shirts and I steal them from him. These are the shirts you guys see me in when I'm wearing like leggings and I'm chill. They're comfortable. <laughs> he has it like in every color and I think I have like half of them in my closet. <laughs> uh, stuff for Lila. This is what she picks out um, by the, what, it, what, it, what is that section? $3. Like the $3 section right when you walk into the store. Not this one, but a uh, little stuff like this. I think we bought her more things, but um, we should just call her. Hide the movie. Hide the movie? Yeah. What do you mean hide it? From her? Yeah, she's not here. But we got her a movie. Are we doing that one to show it to her? <laughs> um, 
Then we got her socks. These are the socks that you guys saw me talking about. Now, I love these because they're super fluffy, they're thick, and the grips are really, really good. I'm not even bothering to buy her any socks without grips, not in this house at least, because the scares scare me. Um, and she just runs so much, so all of them have to have grips. And I got her three pairs. She already had two pairs, but I'm hoping that'll be good. <laughs> she scares. I know, I said scared. Of the stairs. stairs. But you say scares. Stairs. Scares stairs? <laughs> I don't know, I'm making up my own language here. <laughs> it was really hard to say it the first time around. <laughs> um, she has fallen in love with my little pony, so we got her some PJs. We're in we are in trouble because I mean like Paw Patrol didn't already have enough and Peppa Pig now. But at least we know what to get her for Christmas, right? <laughs> so little pajamas for her. Daddy had a good eye. This is absolutely adorable. I wanted it because it's going to keep her warm. She could wear her pajamas and then wear this robe over it. She's so excited about it. When she saw it, she wanted it on right away. By the way, the shoes, we got her one. The fluffy unicorn ones. The one from Despicable Me. The so fluffy. So yeah, we got that and her slippers. Anything to try to keep her warm because this house seems like it's going to be cold. Because I don't already have enough. But they were on clearance, so I couldn't say no. I'm like, white? I don't have white. I have gray ones. These were from there as well. They have like really nice cushion inside. Because if you buy these, usually they don't have cushion in them. Um, but these do. These do as well. I have like polka dot ones, green ones, you want, you purple buy one ones. Every year, no? I buy them every year, yeah. I love them. Just slip ons. <laughs> uh, Target, I only got two tops. This one is super, super soft. Uh, it has Mickey Mouse on it, if you can see it. But it, it, the feel of it is super soft. It's I don't I wouldn't know how to describe it, but it feels nice. I actually didn't even try this one in stores. <laughs> Should have probably seen how it looked. I just held it up against me. <laughs> and I think I got mediums and everything. It's cute. Feels so nice and soft. What do you think, babe? This is the first time seeing it on me. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it works. This is the same ones that make the leggings that I buy from Target, which I really like. Uh, so this one has like a really cool like twist to the back. I think this one I got an extra small. I didn't know that, but um, I think I held them up to me and I was kind of like, no, it's, it's long enough. Is it long enough? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't shrink. I'll probably not put it in the uh, dryer that way it doesn't shrink but it's really soft too I like matches my nails <laughs> which by the way it was really good nail polish um, I just discovered a polish I'm a little bit crazy about them they're called finger paints five bucks um, and I bought three because they had a buy two get one free let me tell you the coat on them like one coat is enough it's plenty it dries so fast it doesn't chip it actually starts to fade on the tips but they never actually chip I was like that is awesome um, I've tried OPI I don't like it China glaze don't like that one at all that one chips like crazy um, so I'm super excited about these just thought I'd share it with you guys and we got it from Sally's I don't know where else they have it I've never seen it before um, so maybe google it if you don't have a Sally's by you see Amazon or Amazon yeah you can almost find anything on Amazon <laughs> That is all I found from Target. I didn't really find everything I was looking for, but hubby had a terribly good idea, which was to go to TJ Maxx. Oh, I also bought lights. By the way, guys, if you're looking for um, white, uh, white wire Christmas lights and 300 count, because you can only find 100 count everywhere you go, Target. And good price, $8.99. I was just about to buy some online on Amazon. Cheapest I could find was $19 for a 300 set. These were $8.99 a piece. And I have a white tree, so that was a must. I was super excited to find those. Um, and then I had other people asking in a video where we got these from. Myers. Myers. <laughs> we got them from Myers. Uh, both of them, right? Yeah. And then we bought one that looked like this from Hobby Lobby, but it was plain, so we could write our own words. That one will happen eventually. <laughs> uh, so let's go through the teaching next stuff. Uh, first, Lila. 
found her some really cool stuff. These are so thick and the grips on them are insane. I love it, but I love how fat and fluffy they are. Um, I also got her little, uh, what, do you, what are tights. these called? Tights, right? Little tights, they cover the feet just so that we can layer her up when it's really cold. Um, I buy them every year just for that purpose. I also, I'll show you guys afterwards. I, I bought her some really cute tights. Um, now, my sweater. <laughs> I've got this nice burgundy one. What attracted me to the sweater was the uh, slim fit because I, I used to wear a lot of sweaters and the problem with them was that they always like took away from your smaller waist because there was like a big bag on you. Uh, sometimes it's okay, other times you kind of want to show off that, hey, I got a small waist, you know? Uh, so I'll try that one on for you guys. <laughs> Did I ruin it? No. <laughs> Were you recording the whole time? Oh, okay, good, because that was kind of a disaster trying to put this on. Um, I love that. I don't know why. I just do. They're really long, so they don't, they don't pull. Usually they pull really bad here because since I have long legs, I have long arms. <laughs> um, but I love the feel. It's super soft. I like that it kind of hugs you a little bit. It just looks cute and comfy. I like the color, too. I was about to buy a gray one, but I'm like, no, I got too much gray. Um, also, matches my nails. <laughs> uh, moving on. This one is, is probably my favorite. I don't know why. It's just I love the design of it. I couldn't decide whether I wanted a medium or large. That is the dilemma when shopping for fall things for me because large also looks good. Sometimes even extra large. I have a shirt that's extra large. It's my favorite shirt. Um, but I'll show you guys this one. I really like the, the color of it. Or I don't know what to call it. Design? It's not really color. <laughs> That bun is not gonna last. There you have it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Does it look good on camera? Does it look good with gray pants? I tried it on with dark gray. Probably look better with the dark gray, right? It doesn't look good with the light gray. Yeah, the gray pants I tried on were like the same dark gray as that, but very cute. I decided to go with the medium on that one. Next, we have this gray. Looks plain when you look at it. Um, it's got this little twist in the front but it looks really nice once you put it on. The arms are a little short on this one. Um, I, don't, I don't really mind. I just kind of roll them up anyways. Having a kid, you always end up rolling up your sleeves. Um, but this is the shirt. I love when it, it's a low back. I, I don't know why. I just do. Um, and then I do like when it's a little bit higher because as you'll notice, sometimes I tuck in my baggy shirts into my pants just a little bit. So it kind of gives that illusion without the effort. <laughs> so for that reason, I like it. It's a win. And lastly, we've got this one. He picked this one out. It's a nice plain gray, but um, you can't have too many of them. <laughs> really nice material too, very soft. It, it lost, you said? Oh, where is it? It's officially lost. I don't have a bun anymore. Now I do, do I? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I should have known trying things on would not keep a bun. Um, anyways, this is a shirt. Very like chill. I like it. It's very soft. Uh, as you'll notice, all the styles are kind of similar. If, when I decide I want to buy a certain style, I just shop for that style. And then if I decide I want some warmer but like more dressy things, then I'll shop for that style. I feel like if I shop for too many styles, I end up buying something I don't like and I don't wear it. So, anyways, so now we're gonna try to call our horrible model. <laughs> She seriously does not like the camera at all or doing anything we want her to do, actually. <laughs> Lila! She'll want to play with that first. <laughs> you want this one or this one? <laughs> Which one? Ah! <laughs> You're attacking them! <laughs> Crazy girl. Oh, you want those too? I don't mind. They match the blue. You want to do the blue then? We'll do the blue. And within seconds, she finds it. What I worked so hard to hide. <laughs> All right, now I could change you. All right, let's get you in your PJs. <laughs> we got to her nails. Same thing, finger paints. They had a really bright one. They forced me to buy a third one, so I was like, yeah, I'll buy a shade for her. <laughs> oh, these are so Freaking cute. Mm. 
Almost already. Look. Do you want to wear it? I'm just dressing her while she's doing her thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh, so cool. Kind of big. We'll twist these a little. It's Santa Claus. Right? Okay, Christmas morning. Oh. <laughs> no, you don't want to stand? Okay. <laughs> You said horrible model. <laughs> horrible model. And you guys did not see her face once, did you? Count how many times you see her face. Somehow she hides it from the camera, even though I told him don't let her know don't let her know you're recording her. Nope, you never get her face. This is why she doesn't have a million photos. Oh so cute. My goodness. You look like a boxer. <laughs> oh so cool. <laughs> Um, all right, you guys know me. I'm gonna always add something fitness related in it, and it's going to be a photo I'm gonna roll up. It's gonna be before, which is just at night. You can tell which one's at night because it looks dark, um, and then one from in the morning to show the stomach. Now, this is to have girls feel rest assured that one, if you're bulking, that is completely normal. That is your reality till your bulk is over. Well, not completely. You may still have it after the bulk. <laughs> Um, but maybe not as severe because your food intake is going to go down. But even if you're not bulking, it is very hard to maintain a, a very flat tummy by the end of the night. You're full of liquids and food. Um, and I wanted to address this because I have clients who will take a photo at night, at night, and send it to me like, Oh my god, my stomach is huge. It's like, yeah, so is mine. <laughs> Welcome to the club of eating food. Um, it's just food inside you. It's got to go somewhere. So it's going to reflect at the end of the night. Um, usually it doesn't start showing up to like your second or third meal. And then you'll start feeling it. But in the morning, you should wake up pretty flat and be back to normal. It's just your food has to go somewhere, which is your stomach, until it's di digested and pooped out. Very cute, baby. <laughs> All right, so here are the clips. So as you guys saw, I, I still had my abs, but it's being pushed out because of all the food in there. Um, but I wanted to show a realistic expectation and tell you guys you need to have realistic expectations of your body, the human body. When you fill it up with something, it's going to be like anything else. You fill up a bag, it gets full. Just don't weigh yourself at night and definitely don't take photos at night and you'll feel better. <laughs> and also, um, it depends how big, like, it'll be different for everyone, your stomach. If you're bulking, obviously it's going to be bigger. I increased calories. It's bigger than it was just two weeks ago. It was actually pretty flat and I liked it and not as flat as it is in the morning um, but because I was eating at a deficit it stayed pretty flat throughout the day now that I'm eating more it's gonna get bigger and now if I add in like a food that bloats me it may even get bigger like say you eat raw onions that is like the number one bloating thing um, so your tummy may be a bit bigger so depending on what you eat that day um, who <laughs> I <at> you <laughs> Uh, depending on what you eat that day too can have an effect on your body so um, that's why I never want clients taking photos at night or telling me how much they weigh at night because it could be anything food has an impact on your body um, so does water so for that reason avoid the night just don't look at your physique at night <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope that was a little bit helpful. It makes you feel at ease during your journey. Uh, we're going to end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, bye, guys.